Life in the Tundra Chapter 1 Deep Freeze Bundle up. You're about to visit a frozen land. You'll brave strong winds. You'll slide across thick ice. You might even see a polar bear. Welcome to the tundra. The tundra is one of Earth's many biomes. A biome is a community of plants and animals that share a certain environment. Have you heard of the desert, the grassland, and the rainforest? These are biomes too. In the tundra, the cold hits you right away. This is the coldest biome on Earth. If you stick around, you'll see very little rain or snow. The tundra gets less than 10 inches of precipitation all year. And if you're looking for shelter, you won't find many trees. It's just too cold for trees to grow. Instead, tundra plants grow close to the ground in clumps or mats. The tundra's many cushion plants look like little pillows. Flowing ice. The climate of the tundra is perfect for glaciers. A glacier is a huge area of ice. It moves slowly downhill or outward over time. A glacier forms when winter snow does not melt in summer. Over thousands of years, the snow piles up. It packs down to form a thick layer of ice. If the world's glaciers melted, Earth would be a wet place. The glaciers hold about three-fourths of the planet's fresh water. Where in the world do you think you can find tundra? It forms only in places that are very cold and very dry. If you're thinking far north, you're on the right track. Much of Earth's tundra surrounds the North Pole. This type of tundra is known as Arctic tundra. Think of places like Alaska, Canada, Greenland, and Russia. In the Arctic tundra, wind blows constantly. Much of the land is wide open and flat. There are no trees to slow down or block the wind. The strong winds pick up snow and carry it to other places. Big piles of snow called snow dunes can form. Sometimes the snow moves so fast that everything looks white. This is called a whiteout. It can last for days at a time. In the snowy Arctic tundra, the best way to blend in is to have white coloring. Arctic wolves, seals, and snowy owls have this type of camouflage. During the short summer, snow melts away from some of the ground. White fur or feathers would make animals stick out against the brown or gray soil. Some animals, such as the Arctic hare, turn brown or gray during the summer. Many Arctic tundra animals have another way to keep warm. Polar bears, seals, and walruses have a thick layer of blubber. This stored fat can be several inches thick. It is another form of insulation. Blubber is especially important for animals that spend most of their time in cold Arctic waters. Blubber helps animals in another way, too. When food is hard to find, their bodies can break down blubber. It gives them the energy that they need to survive. Some animals stay in the tundra and hibernate through the winter. The Arctic ground squirrel makes a nest in an underground burrow. In late summer, it fattens up on food and stores extra food in its nest. Then it goes into a deep sleep for many months. All of its body processes slow down. For instance, its body temperature becomes very low. This helps the squirrel save energy. Walruses of the Arctic live in large groups called herds. Walruses spend most of their time in the water, but sometimes they climb onto ice or rocky islands. During some parts of the year, they climb onto the land in one huge herd. Other times, males form a separate herd away from females and their young.